from the Fox 26 studios. Okay, for the second time in one month, you had a chance to get the I Voted sticker. And several incumbents get to keep their seats. This is after Saturday's runoff election. So we're breaking down what it means for the city now. And I'm joined by Republican strategist Jackie Bailey, also Democratic strategist Dallas Jones as well. So let's start with the big name on the ticket, right, which was for the mayor of Houston. Mm -hmm. So we end up now, after a bit of a contentious race there, we end up with uh, Tony Busby conceding, but saying that he's not done here. So what is does this mean going forward with the two of them kind of still um, going to have voices here in the city? Well, Tony knew that he had an uphill climb. We haven't seen um, an incumbent mayor in Houston lose since the 1970s. We haven't seen a Republican elected as mayor since the 1970s. And even though Tony is not Republican, he is more identified mm -hmm. with Republicans than, the, than Mayor Turner. So he knew he had an uphill battle, and it, it was very difficult for him to do. I will say this. There was a 30 thousand under vote between the mayor and the at-large positions meaning people specifically came out to vote for that race mm -hmm. uh, in the middle of December close to Christmas mayor Turner made sure that he had his voters and he made sure that they went out and that really is the difference uh, people had voter fatigue voter apathy they're tired of all the nonsense mayor Turner made sure his base which is very loyal to him turned out and that was the end result and that's a little bit of a, um, a snooker from you so yeah, where's that well, based on uh, you know she immediately put pointed out that he was uh, independent and not a Republican, but that was the, the talking point during the campaign, which is that I'm an independent now. It's Well, he closely aligns, he more aligns with the Republican Party. Nevertheless, the city reelected Mayor Turner. Um, there was also another first. It was the first time um, that someone was able to self-fund millions of dollars in order to push uh, an incumbent mayor into a runoff. Um, so it was an uphill battle, but I think what the, the, the voters of Houston said the first time when the mayor almost Almost one without a runoff and in the runoff was which was that we're happy with the work that Sylvester Turner is doing on behalf of our city and we want to keep him in the mayor's seat and that's what they did so one of the big things that we were talking over the last year a little bit longer than that actually since the last election was prop B and, and firefighters so what does this mean going forward because it kind of seemed like that was a headline that kind of took a back seat can we expect that to come to the forefront again I think it's going to be an ongoing battle. I mean, I, I, they're still searching for pay parity. There's still no resolution there in terms of um, um, negotiations between them and the mayor and, and, and uh, the legal proceedings that have taken place. The mayor did announce yesterday that he is going to shift from a four hour, uh, uh, sh from a four shift work week to a three shift work week for firefighters, something that the unions are, uh, the union is adamantly against. Um, so when we see the cusp of a new battle brewing, um, and I think that's what we're going to see for the next four years, or unless something changes in, 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 in the, the, the tone and tenor of the dialogue. And yes, I agree. Um, well, some of, some of his points. I mean, the fact that Prop B passed with 20 points, um, a lot of people were thinking, okay, surely then anyone who's supporting that will support the, the mayor's opponents. But one thing about most voters is that they're not a one issue a person, right? And so even though it overwhelmingly passed with city voters, a lot of people looked at the overall composition and decided that they still wanted to support Prop B and still wanted to keep Mayor Turner. Now, unfortunately for the firefighters, because this is their livelihood, this is their quality of life, that means a lot of litigation in their future. Uh, we have seen so far in the first four years that they have not reached a compromise. Both sides are really digging in their heels. And so there's, it's going to be very difficult for them to come up with some kind of resolution on this issue. Okay, so there were a lot of down ballot uh, names as well. One of the races too close to call. We only have uh, 12 votes, I think, separating one city council race. So unfortunately, though, we're running out of time because you guys are so well versed in all of it. But um, thank you for giving us the knowledge, uh, especially since that just happened on Saturday, a lot of repercussions of the vote. But good job for everyone who did get the I Voted sticker, no matter how you vote. That's right. Always Absolutely. good to do that. That's right.